Hey guys, Chuck here, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Uh, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, you'll get all future videos. I'm, I do a lot of videos on how to, uh, pretty much anything in ham radio. So today what we're going to do is we're going to build a Slim Jim. It's uh, similar to a J-Pole, but we're going to make it for 2 meter. And so let's get this, uh, let's get this video going, and uh, I think you guys are going to like this one. Okay, so here's all the parts laid out separated. You have uh, two 90s and a straight piece between them. You get your three uprights total, different lengths. And at the top, you got the same thing again. You got your two 90s and a straight piece between. I'll give you measurements for all these. And uh, what I'll probably do is just write on a piece of paper and you can pause it so you can get all the numbers. All right, everybody. Um, I just wanted to show you what I did to uh, tune this antenna before soldering it, I taped up everything. And I also spaced with a couple pieces of uh, wood there and tape. I spaced the uh, elements. So I just taste, I just basically, I just um, taped it all together. And then down here, I started tuning at this. At this mark right here that was a measurement that I found online I found a bunch of different measurements online and then what I did to tune it basically is I took these two twisted lines right here the one here and one on the other side and I just moved them down to get it to tune when I first tuned it it was pretty good I was only running about five watts and then as I turned the power up I noticed I had some SWR so basically I got the SWR pretty close to one to one on the whole two meter band so i'm going to take this little piece of fiberglass that i made fit and i'm going to try and fit it in between the two spots to keep them kind of where they're supposed to be and i'll, I'll just hot glue it in or or i don't know maybe super glue or something probably just hot glue and that will also seal these ends so everything will be sealed this is a um a, this is a Slim Jim antenna, and the difference between the Slim Jim and the J-Pole basically is this upper section here. Um, uh, Slim Jim is supposed to get you five, point, you know, five point eight to to one to six point zero dB versus two and a half to three on a um, a regular J-Pole. I don't know if that's true. I, I got that off of a site. Um, it's about 58 inches. What I found out also is this width here from here to here doesn't really matter. It's the length and it needs to be somewhere around 58 inches. I'll give you guys exact measurements on all the parts eventually here at some time in the video. And it worked really well. I, I had it at uh, 8 to 10 feet and this thing was doing really well. And the only reason I'm doing this is I've got... Let's see if you guys can see this antenna. That is a tram. It's like eight foot. I forget the DB gain and stuff on it. And I think what happened is I'm getting high, like two, two to one SWR in the uh, repeater parts of the band and pretty much everything. I think. When I bought that about five years ago, I don't, I didn't really know that I should have be sealing it. You know, I didn't seal it. I think some waters got into it, so I figured I'd just make this, and this thing seems to perform really well. Okay, guys, it has been a long time since I sweated joints, so we'll see how this goes.
I had a good buddy. Probably the best plumber I think I, I know. And uh, he taught me how to sweat. His name is Bob. Of course, I may have forgotten by now. Who knows? Don't sweat it too much, guys. Get that. Uh, this is not for, you know, doing your water. So it's not. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect as long as it holds. You don't want water to get inside, probably. But that went well. All right. Let me reset things up, and we'll do some more. Okay. I did use flux, uh, and I cleaned all the. Uh, the fittings, the 90s, with this little brush. Uh, you can get these at any hardware store. It's just easier than sanding, but you can use sandpaper too. All right, let's uh, see if we can finish the other side. That went pretty good the first time. What you can see is you can see the flux kind of bubble and that's when you know it's getting ready. You notice when I got to the last side it was a lot of you see it bubbling right there. What my buddy would do is put a little curve in his. It's not warm enough yet. Can't get impatient, which I always do. Why that one kept coming loose? It could have just been because it was all hot, and still melted. The other side seemed to be fine when I got done. So pretty much, that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, I did put the little fiberglass thing in the middle. I may take it out. I may just put a cap on the ends. Okay, for testing, this is a pole. It's about a ten foot pole. I'm setting it about eight feet at the bottom, and then there's the top. Now. I went ahead and used I just had some coax that already had some ends on it and that's what I use for my points I got them just a little higher than I probably should have but uh, SWR is plenty good 1 to 1 is the uh, 1.2 to 1 is the worst and I just taped it to the uh, just taped it to the PVC there. Usually they use a couple hose clamps to a piece of PVC like that. All right, we're gonna go through the, uh, the bands real quick here, or the frequencies. 144, 100, that's the beginning of the side band, but I'm in FM, 50 watts. And if you look at the uh, right here is SWR, and that is the bottom, uh, the bottom part of that scale. And we are at one point, uh, a little over 1.2 to 1. 
Kiki 6 USY testing. And it looks like we have something right there. So let's just go to one, 145 and I'll just see. There we go. We'll just go up every couple hundred here. Okay, right here again. KK6 USY testing. And that was about 1.2 again. A little over, just a little bit over. Okay, 146. Let's just see what we missed here. I just talked to these guys. These are about 60 miles away, and I'm only about 12 feet off the ground. So let's go to. Okay. Well, let's just let's go to 146. KK6 USY testing. One to one. If you guys saw that, one to one on that one. So it's a little bit. I, I probably could have put the screw down a little bit farther down the thing. Down goes up in frequency on these. Okay. 147. Let's just go right there. KK6 USY testing. Zero. Zero right there. So it's really good up at the top. And this is where a lot of my repeaters are. Yeah, I think the top of the band is like around here someplace. We'll just KK6 USY testing. And it's zero again. No movement at all. So I don't know about you guys, but I think the build came out pretty good. I think it's going to be a good little antenna. So uh, pretty easy to make. Uh, you only have a few cuts, um, not a lot of parts. I happen to have the uh, all the, the copper just laying around my house in the guard, you know, kind of in the garden area. And I took and uh, just basically cleaned it all up with a, uh, a flat disc that was pretty much wore out. I wouldn't use a, a good flat disc on it. You might take off more than you want. So if you like this video, hit that like. And if you are new here, like I said before, hit that uh, subscribe button and also hit the, the bell for all. That way you'll get all my future videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. Thanks for joining me and uh, be safe. Catch you on the airwaves.